Hey everyone, we're back in the creation station with a 3D printer upgrade. I got the Elgu Saturn 3 Ultra 12K. We're going to be upgrading that one and replacing the AnyCubit Mono X 4K. You know, that was a great printer. I really liked it, but I'm really excited to see the 12K resolution on this and see what I can get out of this for my dioramas, all my cosplay props, and all my 3D paintables. So this is really exciting. I guess I also have to add that this is paid for by me. This is not a sponsored item. So if it turns out that I hate it and it's a piece of garbage, well, I can say that, but I don't think so. I think this will be a great printer, a valued addition to the makerspace here, and can't wait to do it. Let's get started. Best part. You know, these come in handy. Ooh. Shit, it's upside down. Oh yeah, I opened it from the bottom. <laughs> ah, man. Oh yeah, I'll be able to do this. This will be easy. Ooh, fancy. Oh, she's a little heavy. Alright, that's not really. Put it down. What's that? Oh yeah. Nothing else. What's that? Power cord. Saturn 3 instructions. Yeah, here we go. This is a very well packed whole toolkit. Oh, wicked. What's in here? I don't want to see. Huh? Little HEPA filter. That's an awesome addition. Scraper, USB drive. What else we got? Spatula, Wi Fi antenna, tools, and a power brick. Still strange that they packed the power cord separate. You couldn't fit that in the box? I don't know. Whatever. What's this? Mm. Obviously, tell they didn't pre film this. Please press firmly on the build plate when tightening screws. Please remove the protective film before printing. Wow, look at the etching on it. That's so it releases better when it pulls up. Yeah. All right. There she is. Let's take out the screw. Yeah, the screw. Wow. Tight like a drum. Whoa, it just went cloudy. That's weird. Whoa, how did that go from, look at that. It's not clear anymore. Oh, that's weird. There's a little piece of uh, stuff here. More styrofoam. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah, right on. Okay. Wi-Fi antenna, right here. It's kind of weird how they put everything on the side. They're gonna have a thumb drive that sticks out really goofy. I don't like that. But, what I do have, let's check this out. I got one of these. Just points of frontwards. I like that. Now, we got this, and we can do that. And it's not going out the side. Like that. Oh, look at that. Hey, we got some resin filters. Masks. It's black with charcoal, and those charcoal masks. That's pretty cool. So we'll go here with this power here. Plug it in over here. Just power it up, see what she does. So here's the uh, HEPA filter. This thing is actually really cool. You can buy another one, I guess. There is two, S two USB ports on each side, and both of them are designed for these. These will just help filter out the, the stink of the resin. So. I totally want to peel this. This, this is fun. I, I love peeling. Peeling new things is probably one of the best parts of retail therapy. Now 
Now, look at this. There is a port on the back. That's for a fan. So you can do a exhausted output. You can use like super crazy stinky stuff, I imagine. All right, how's that look? Woo, she's a beauty. She is a beauty. Let's go with this in the back. Let's change that. And all right. All right, now let's power it on. Give it its first power up. Oh, a leveling card. Let's put that there. One thing I've learned in life, RTFN. Read the F manual. Give me a second to read this. So it says, take all of that off, put that aside. Put this on. Okay. Then it says to loosen these four screws, which are those four. That would probably be this one. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we got them all loose. Okay, press this down. Okay, back to zero, and then it says press this down on the screen while you give these all a tighten. So press it on my screen, and they all got to tight. Tighten her down to a couple finger pounds. Those who get that will laugh. Then we'll just hit back, set zero value, confirm. So now go back to manual. We're going to lift our Z. There we are. Switch over to 10. There we go. Over to 50 this time. That is smooth. Go to tool. Go to screen exposure. And text. Yep, I can see Elevu technology. And stop. And we're good. Let's go back. We're going to go back. We're going to go to tools. We're going to go manual. And we're going to lift it up a whole bunch. Is take our screens. We've got that one. This side. We've got this one. I still can't believe how foggy that is. Okay, we're tight there. We're tight there. All right, time for resin. All right, here we are. We got the, um, we're gonna try the Elegoos brand today. Washable resin. We're gonna try that one today. So I just went and warmed it up in some warm water. A buddy of mine always said, warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. I don't know. I don't question him. Okay. I don't like to keep on throwing away gloves if I know I'm not really going to get them that dirty. So I use these ones just for the general stuff. Touching bottles, touching things, anything around this area. So what we're going to do, there is a max line there. Man, this thing holds a whole bottle, I bet you. All right, we're just gonna pour a little bit in. We're gonna pour it some maybe till that first ridge, I guess. And see how that goes. Yeah, see you always end up with residue and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I keep these. Always keep your blue shop towels. Blue shop towels are lint free. I always take mine, I quickly. I saw this from another YouTuber. Can't remember his name, but I learned from you. And I always make little paper towels just for little wipe up jobs. Makes life so much easier. All right, there we go. So we'll close that one, put that there. Now, all these air bubbles on top. What I do is I always just take a torch here and I give them all a quick torch. And I don't know if you can see it. I'm not filming it on any other camera, but there we are. See, so we're at a perfectly flat resin. Oh, I took a picture of that just in case. So I don't have anything to print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check on here. There's apparently some test prints. So 
let's see what it comes factory and let's just see what this can do right out of the box because hey you guys gotta witness it right out of the box too this is awesome go here so back to the main screen there's a print button usb local file and history we're gonna go usb it says printing test slicing software we'll go into printing test i'm gonna go quick test model and play oh yeah there look the little hepa filter turned on it goes green perfect let's get this lid on Things like burnt electronics when you first turn it on, but yeah, that's fine. I smelled enough burnt electronics in my life. I know what's bad, what's not. It's kind of funny, but it does smell. I'll check back with you on the print, and we'll see what we comes out of this, and then we'll hit you in the washing machine. Okay, back soon. Yeah, all right, we're back, and we have a fail. So we're about halfway in. I look underneath, and I don't see anything. So the first layer didn't cure, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go back in, re-level, and uh, give her another try. So it did get build adhesion. So we have two scrapers in here. We've got one to get it off the build plate, and then the other one's a little plastic one, and this one's got rounded corners. Right there you can see and that's just to go on the film make sure that the film is okay yeah see i can feel it there oh and it hardened to the screen too ah crap this is gonna be a bugger to clean so first thing we're gonna do here is just get all this off so i go through and i just i make sure all of these are scraped this part i need gloves first thing we're gonna do is just go and clean this before we move this this is the first thing off some of you wonder what do you do with this stuff you actually throw this in the curing thing make sure you cure all your resin on your paper towels and everything it's easier to deal with resin gets everywhere that's one drawback about this parchment paper Oh, there's nothing to stick to it. Now, one thing when I'm doing this, see, I got one of these. I just got that from the dollar store. So I've got that. We're going to actually just filter back in our resin. This is what I do with the extra resin. So I just got the bottle here. I just grab a little funnel like that. And that's pretty much good enough to hold it. Next, I want to take out the bath. Actually, I should take off this first. Yeah, right there, it failed. Huh, I wonder why it failed. Especially when it's a stock print. It's supposed to work. It looks like it failed a few layers up. How many layers up it failed? And why? So here we got the extra. So we're just going to go over here and we're just going to pour it in here. You know, they leave you that little lip, but it sucks, I'll be honest. There we go. All right. Careful not to touch the back of the screen. Get to a point where we can just scrape it off. And then back on the claws. See, look at our design here. Do you see our design hardened in? Now, one thing, never touch that backside. That'll cause you so much grief. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. Well, you have no idea until you do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm gonna take this, and being a drum, sometimes you can just give it a little push. And you feel it off and off. I don't do it hard, but just enough to get an edge and get that off. Okay, we're gonna scrape. As soon as you can feel she's clean, you're good. Just gonna wipe in this. We're gonna reprint right away so I'm not gonna be too crazy on it, but that's good. 
Okay, knees in. Okay, so the one part I didn't get on camera here was this. Right? I just used the new metal one that came with it. You can still see where it was kind of printed. So now we're just going to quickly put this back on. So I got the resin warming up right now. I don't think it's a leveling issue only because that first level adhered really nice, right? So we did get plate adhesion and then this was just uh, on the bottom of the plate. So as it grew, you know, this was just hardening and hardening and hardening. So between these two, I had a bad adhesion. All right, I'll be back with some resin. Okay, we're back. Got some resin. Good thing about this stuff, it's washable with water. All right, let's get this in here again. So one of the things I found out when I was looking at this online, uh, I think it might have been, was um, I think the factory files want just standard resin, not the washable, because a lot of the settings were different when I opened up Cheeto Box, which is the software that comes with this. So I opened up Cheeto Box, I went in there, I actually went to the Elegoo website and they have a list on there of what resins that they offer and then what settings to put them at in your Cheeto print. So I went ahead and I did a uh, Han Solo bust that I'm gonna try here and tuned it to the printer this time. So we're gonna plug it in, see what we got. We're just gonna quickly here uh, manually raise the bed I just gotta quickly torch the resin off here. So that's done. And we'll try our second print here. Well, watching that is so satisfying. Ooh. Han Solo, there we go. Okay, we're off to a new print. We're gonna start with this one and we'll check back with you in a bit. See you soon. All right, we're back here. Let's check out the Han Solo print and uh, see what we got. Mm. There we go. Ah, we got a support fill. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you here. I know what happened though. My fault. And there we go. We still gotta clean it up, wash out the resin, but I had support failure on the back of his hair. I didn't support his hair proper. See? Look at his hair didn't work out. Okay, so one thing, this is washable in, uh, just in water, but I got a wash basin here. So let's get, give Han a dip here. All right, here we are back the next day. We're just, unfortunately, my battery died on my camera, but here we are. Although it had the hole in the back, the quality on this is absolutely incredible. Just incredible. So I'm really excited to see what other kind of things I can print on this. Here's a little Spider-Man I did as well. I don't know if that comes through, but just incredible detail. Really impressed. This is a great printer though. I'm really excited to have it in my collection. Can't wait to see what other kind of things I produce on it and see you in the next ones.